um, London is so hot. I love to talk about the weather. Um, and it's really, really hot. It's almost, I would say, too hot. However, summer in London, it's usually pouring down with rain and miserable, so you won't hear me complaining. Um, by the way, I had a, um, a treatment in the salon on my head. So it's basically called a permanent blow dry and it's like a keratin treatment that smooths out your hair so it's a tiny bit flat at the moment but um i was able to just wash it let it dry and normally my hair is like a big fluffy ball you guys have seen what it can be like so this is like a whole new revelation for me and then hopefully when i've washed it a few times it won't be quite as flat as it is now um so yeah i think that that will kind of see me through the summer I'm in the salon today and we just did a massive hair transformation. This is Hadley uh, and this is Erica and we have just done a colour and hair extension transformation. Are you loving it? I'm loving it. Looks amazing. Excuse the tired face. I have been home from work for a few hours now. I was so tired that I had to have a little nap. So I think that it must be, I don't know, around eight o'clock or something now. Um, so I am preparing to do my evening skincare routine and I actually received a parcel today and I got two bits that were kindly sent from the PR for Alpha H. I've um, reviewed a couple of bits from Alpha H. It's like an Australian skincare brand. And I just received this huge balancing cleanser, which is 500 ml, which is really, really exciting. And also the liquid gold firming eye cream. Um, so I think that I'm going to try them on my skin tonight. The light's a bit strange in here, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I really do need to cleanse my face. I actually need a new cleanser because I'm starting to run out of the Emma Hardy one. So I look forward to giving this a go and seeing what it's like. They say that it's, I think they say that it's pH balanced, but it can remove makeup and SPF, which is essential to me for a cleanser. So I'm going to give that a quick go now. And then I'm also going to use this eye cream, which sounds very nice. It's got peptides in. Um, oh, and this is alpha hydroxy acid free. So that's quite interesting because the liquid gold is famous for being that, um, that AHA glycolic toner, but this hasn't actually got any glycolic acid in it. So that's good to know. bit of like essence or toner on or something like that however um i just want to oh my gosh look at that wow oh my gosh so you can see the cream coming out I wasn't expecting that. That's actually really nice. It's a bit messy though, because it goes like everywhere, but and it has made my eyes go quite red. Wow, 
that's a very nifty applicator. I'm impressed with that. Sometimes it is just easier to use your fingers though. That redness went down quickly, thank God. So both the um, cleanser and the um, eye cream are fragrance free, which is very, very important. So that was fun. And then I'll just go over with like some serum everywhere else. I'm actually keeping my skincare routine super simple at the moment because with the hot weather, it's just getting really, really oily all the time. Mm. Good morning guys, I am having a little walk with a couple of friends in Hyde Park. I'm on my phone and I never know like where the lens is so I don't know if I'm kind of looking directly at you or I don't know. Anyway, hi, um, yeah just having a little walk with the friends in Hyde Park, it's Saturday. I finally got a day off work and I am so happy because I've just been feeling a bit burnt out in the last few days if I'm completely honest. So it's really nice, I plan to just like unwind today, spend some time with the friends and then um, yeah back to work again. I'm actually working tomorrow so we're just going to go and grab a little coffee, maybe a tiny little bit of breakfast. Beautiful, beautiful day and it's so lovely and peaceful in Hyde Park this morning. This by the way, if you're visiting London and you want to go to Hyde Park but you want to just like chill Hyde Park then go to the Kensington High Street entrance um, and this part and then you can walk up to the Serpentine this part is much much quieter whereas if you go to Hyde Park via Hyde Park Corner it is so 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 busy and loud so just worth knowing that perhaps so I'm back from the park now and just had a nice shower and washed my face, or cleansed my face should I say, and just thought I would sit down and have a little catch up with you all. So as I mentioned before, feeling like super, super burnt out at the moment. I think that the relocating from Germany to London was a lot more stressful than I kind of anticipated that it would be. Um, I've basically been kind of staying with different friends in the last like, I don't know, about a month or so. I think it's been about, I, I am actually not sure how long I've been here now, I think it's about like six weeks full time. So yeah, it's just been full on and I viewed a flat last night that I'm really hoping to move into with Christian and Ralphie. It's very, very, very small, but the location is really, really good. It's in a really beautiful part of London and it's in a very central part of London. So we're kind of, and it's near work. Um, so Christian and I are kind of choosing, yeah, like location, um, over size at the moment and we'll maybe do that for a year and then um, take it from there and also this particular apartment we can bring our dog Ralphie and in London it's really difficult to um, rent an apartment with a dog. Mo it's not like in America where it's a bit more acceptable here like landlords just um, often say no but this one's saying yes it's a furnished flat the furniture that's in it is pretty grim to be honest but we will just kind of live for it live with it for the time being and then kind of add our own bits we would like to add a bigger bed um a new sofa that kind of thing but the actual bones of the flat like the yeah the how it is is okay it's just a bit on the small side but it's nice and light um and stuff like that so hopefully 
um, we will be able to kind of negotiate everything next week and then if all goes to plan maybe we'll move in in a couple of weeks but I don't want to kind of get my hopes set too much because moving is tricky things can often go wrong and stuff like that so I'm just trying not to kind of put any expectations out there so far but I just thought I would kind of update you guys and let you know what's happening with that um, and then for the rest of the day I'm just going to hang out with my friends we've been watching this show on Netflix called Queen of the South it's really really good if you're looking for recommendations and then, well actually, saying that, we're on, the first season's amazing, we're on to the second season now and it's starting to get a little bit cheesy, so I'm not sure about that. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to watch that probably this afternoon, have a nice healthy chicken lunch, and then um, take it easy. I'm even considering taking the day off work tomorrow so I can just rest and look after myself a little bit. Um, and then we'll just, yeah, see how it goes. But yeah, that's my little update with where I'm at with myself in life and um, living situation as well. But one thing I must say is kind of transitioning from living in Germany where it was really, really, really calm to kind of moving to london where it's a completely different pace of life i lived in london for many many years london is basically my home so i just got so used to living in germany but it really is different and you really do have to look after yourself in different ways and you have to make time to look after yourself and have a different type of lifestyle so um, I think that's kind of inspired me a little bit in terms of future content so that's quite interesting and um, also talking of content I'll be recording a skincare video for next week's um, yeah, YouTube video so if you've got any ideas of things that you would like to see any products that I've featured in the past that you want a follow-up review of or any type of routine or information on a specific skincare ingredient or anything that um, comes to mind that would be of interest to you or of use to you, then let me know in the comments below and I will try and, uh, yeah, kind of factor that together for next week's video. But I think that this kind of sums up this week's vlog. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I will be back with another vlog very very soon but as I said before that I will be back with another skincare video. Thanks so much for watching, don't forget to give this video, oh gosh that was the dog barking, <laughs> uh, I better go, don't forget to uh, give this a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one, bye!